Hey, Sophia. I'm going to announce your score for today. Huh? Score? Your score today is... Cue the drum roll. Ta-da! Minus 10 points. What? What? What's going on? Score? What kind of a joke is this? I asked my boss yesterday. Oh yeah, you went out for drinks yesterday. You didn't tell me that you didn't need dinner. I saw you walking to a bar with your boss. That's why I messaged you and you didn't reply. Huh? It's none of your business when I go out drinking. Do you forget that I'm in sales department? I'm the one who works and earns money more than you. I'm supporting this family. Don't you ever stand up to me. I'm not standing up to you. What do you mean by the score that you said earlier? Oh, yeah, that score. What was that? You just gave me minus 10? That was an evaluation of your appearance. Huh? An evaluation of my appearance. Yeah, that's right. My boss said so. He said that women get old very quickly after they get married. It happens to everyone naturally. That's not what I meant. Boss, he said... He said that once they get married, they don't make effort to dress up. That's not true. Nah, it's true. I was convinced by what the boss said. Women put on makeup and dress up to get a good man. And when she gets a good man, women don't need to wear makeup or dress up anymore. What are you talking about? Not all women in this world dress up to get a good man. Denying it like that means you're one of them, right? No, I'm not. Well, I was tricked into a dressed-up version of you, and I got married to you. You're lucky to have a nice guy like me. So, what the hell did you suddenly score me for? Oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. I'm going to be hard on you from now on. If you stop making effort just because we're married, we will get divorced in a heartbeat. What? I just told you, women don't make an effort to be beautiful after marriage. I'm not like most men. I'm a very nice man. So if you want to be my wife, you have to work hard too. What on earth are you talking about? Is that what your boss said? Yes, that's right. After I heard what he said, I realized that I've been spoiling you. But his... By the way, the passing line is 60 points. No, 70 or 80. Um, yeah, 75. If I get less than that for a week straight, you and I are divorced. Hold on. Are you saying you saw me at work today and gave me a minus 10? I'm wearing makeup and a suit. Minus 10 points. That's too harsh. I haven't seen you since you got out for work. All I saw today was you in your pajamas being busy at house. What? You're giving me a minus 10. I just woke up and I'm preparing your lunch and breakfast? Why should I be judged based on how I looked this morning? Why not? I'm supposed to see your face at home and outside of the house. Even inside the house, you have to look beautiful all the time. If you understand me, you should stop wearing pajamas from now on. That's too much. It's like telling me not to sleep in my pajamas. Look, just go back home now and buy yourself some makeup to make yourself pretty. I'm not taking the afternoon off for that ridiculous reason. Are you done talking? If you keep talking this nonsense, my lunch break will be over. Oh, come on. You're not even pretty enough to interrupt your husband while talking. My boss is with me right now. He says you need a little more education. I'm going to have to be a little more bashful about this. The lunch that you made didn't look too good today. I gave it to my co-worker, who was short on cash. I'm going to the convenience store to get some food. It's been a week now. Since what? Since you've been giving the lunch to someone else. If you won't eat it, I don't think I have to make it anymore. What are you talking about? I'm saying that if you cook it properly, I'll eat it. But your cooking was no good, so I didn't eat it. Can you tell me what exactly is wrong with it? Huh? You saw the lunch? ate it and you thought it was bad right then tell me exactly what was wrong with it even to your subordinate at your work you can't just say no 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 without saying the reason you'll never get the results that you want work and housework are different 
Anyway, your cooking is terrible. I'm saying it's not edible at all. That's funny. You complain and yet you eat dinner every day. Um, I know you were just not in a mood. That's why you're giving the lunch to someone else. Now what? Don't you have anything to say? That that way you're acting. How am I acting? When I told you you were not good enough, all you have to do is say you're sorry and obey me. That's what a wife does. What are you talking about? I had no idea you were like that. You were so nice to me before we got married. You're the one who changed after we got married. Me? How? Since we started living together, you've been asking me to help you with the housework. We started living together. We both work. It's normal for us to share the housework, right? It's different if I was not working, I guess. Since we started living together, you got ugly. You see my face without makeup more often. That's why you're saying that. I take good care of myself. Even you say that. Besides, you don't dress well anymore. Because every time I pick my outfit, you always say I don't look good with it. Of course, if you keep receiving these comments all the time, I'll lose my motivation to buy new clothes. And when it comes to food, you always make boring foods. I just made the food that you wanted to eat. Besides, you always try to argue with me. Because you started to be more selfish after we got married. We're a partner. We're on equal footing. If you're being selfish, I reject it. That's not right. What's not right? You're my wife, right? Yeah, so? A wife should listen to her husband. Here you go again. Always say that kind of stuff every time we argue. I bet your boss said that again. Yes, he did. My boss is a man among men. I've never seen anyone more real man than that man. Oh, yeah. You're not a good judge of people either. What did you say? You're the one who doesn't have sense to look at people, aren't you? The other day, you were telling me about the latest fashion trends. You said you got a tip from a young colleague. But your score is minus 30 points today. All right, all right. That's enough. No matter how much effort I put in, it doesn't matter to you, right? I'm going to start eating my lunch. Talk to you later. Hey, you just interrupted me while talking. I'm serious about it. Okay, here are today's scores. Cue the drum roll. Ta-da! Wow, the lowest record was broken. Minus 100 points. I had a plan with my dad this morning. So, I don't think you saw me this morning. Minus 10 points for not waking me up in the morning. Minus 20 points for not respecting me. Minus 30 points for not making me lunch. And minus 40 points because you are ugly today anyway. So, that's a total of minus 100 points. Ugh, you're so stupid. Why did you stop talking like a schoolboy? Ah, an add of minus 50 points for talking out of your ass to me. Do you really enjoy acting like such a child? I'm doing this to improve my life. I'm not like you who's just playing around. What makes you think I'm playing with you? You thought that if you married me, you can count on my money while working as sales. You thought you could make a living off my money, didn't you? Also, I can give money to your parents who call you often. Hold on, what do you mean I'm giving money to my father? The only reason he asks you to take a day off and meet you. I'm pretty sure he's asking for money. Besides, I'm sure both you and your father are counting on my money. No way! It's not like that! Say whatever you want. I know you're lying. That's why I filed for divorce. What? You... I know you recently came home with divorce papers. You filled out your own section. Well... Even though you knew you were going to be dumped, I guess you couldn't give me the divorce papers. Ah, you filed that one. So, you get the hell out of my house. Don't you ever show your face in front of me again. Also, you should quit the company too. You are so annoying. 
I was planning on quitting the company for a long time. I don't need you to tell me that. Well, I'll be over there tomorrow to pick up my stuff. I'll be moving out as soon as possible, so don't worry. Yes, I am so glad. Now I can say goodbye to the minus 150 point woman. Hey, hey, how come you're next to the new president and you're all dressed up? Are you planning to go to the new president's inauguration party? And will you scavenge for a guy to live off, aren't you? Wow, after you blocked me, that's the first thing you're telling me. That's very rude of you. Oh, I get it. You're probably just trying to impress the new president. I'm sure he's a ball buster, but at your age, I'd say you look like daughter to him. There's no way you can get married. What? Of course I can't marry the new president. I know. Because the new president is my father. What? I mean, you've seen your father's face. You met him at the meeting and wedding, but you forgot about him? Wait a minute. Really? Your father? The new president? Yeah, he's the president of the big company that merged this company. So I'm telling you that my father is now the president of the company you work for. No, that's a lie. I'll go talk to my colleagues. Also, I'm going to ask security to kick you out. No way, it can't be true. I guess your colleagues knew exactly what I was talking about. Your father, president? Oh, you were hiding it all the time. What's that? You should have told me at first that you were rich. Well, if that's the way it is, fine. I'll go along with your plan. I'll propose to you again. So just wait and see. What do you mean? I propose to you. You acted like I was a stranger. Thanks to you, I was embarrassed in front of a bunch of people. Oh, that was fun. Is that the proposal? You brought me flowers from a vase in the hall. And you told me that you're going to make me your wife again? I thought it was some kind of a joke. <laughs> Stop laughing. I was serious about the proposal. Don't you have a heart? Look who's talking. After we got married, you took your boss's stupid advice. Forced me to do all the housework. You've been complaining about my appearance every day. You filed for divorce without even discussing it. That was your fault. I'm telling you, my father made me do it. I worked for the company you work for and other companies for a certain period of time. I was getting ready to start working for the next company I was going to investigate. So I didn't have the slightest time to deal with your ridiculous selfishness. Foolish selfishness? That's right. Now that I'm done with my long investigation, I'm back at the company my father used to run. I'm the head of human resources now. What about you? I've been working really hard since you and I divorced. And yeah, I'm not asking you how hard you've been working. I'm asking if you've got promoted. Well, I don't think I'll get a promotion. That's what I thought. Because you're just a relative of the previous president. You were all over the arrogant bossy sales manager. Wasn't the director too naive to you? Who was just trying to sell you flattery? Because the sales manager was a man among men. I really respected him. Oh, I remember. It was all his fault. When the time you were asking that wife should obey the husband. Am I right? The sales manager was always right. He made me realize that women shouldn't be spoiled. Hey, when you took the sales manager advice to heart, I had a thought. What? That sales manager is a divorcee, right? Divorced. Three times? Did you know that? What? His wife left him over and over again. He's divorced three times and has five kids. He's totally incapable of doing housework, so his mother has custody of all of them. Think about it. You took the advice of someone like that. I didn't know that. Well, usually a person won't admit what's wrong with them. So that means I'm... That means he taught you how to get divorced. 
Oh, no. Then this is my boss's fault. If I never met him, we wouldn't have gotten divorced. That's a terrible thing to say to the man that you respect. It's ridiculous. It's all my boss's fault, so it's not my fault, right? I just did as I was told. Huh? So can we forget about our divorce? No way. It's not going to happen. I mean, I'll just block you now. You're not making any good impression. Why do you keep using your phone at all? Hey, wait a minute. I need you. Thank God, I can finally contact you. Let's start over with me this time. Sophia, excuse me, who are you? Don't you know? I'm the person you love most in this world. That's a lie, because that's never going to happen. What are you talking about? I'm the one you love most in the world. Liam. What? I thought I blocked you. Why? I bought a new phone. More importantly, I came to your father's office. I don't have an appointment, so they asked me to leave. What? You're at the office? Of course. I'm getting back with you. So I'm the next president of this company, right? I'm not getting back with you. Just because you married me doesn't mean you're going to be the president of this company. Why not? I'm your ex-husband. Ex-husband? So what? You can't be the president if you're incompetent and all you do is flatter people. Huh? You can't say that. I'm the one who said I'd get back together with you. I told you. I'm not getting back together with you. I'm already married. What? You filed our marriage certificate first. No, of course not. That's a crime. If it's not with me, then with who? With my new husband. I met him two years after I divorced you. We even had a wedding the other day. What? Why are you married to a different man? Did you really think that once a woman gets married, she's supposed to love only one person? You're not even that attractive. Damn. Hey, get out of my office right now. Or I'll fuck up the company. What the hell? That's a threat? You're too desperate. It's too funny. But you can't do that. You don't care about the company? Do whatever you want. And you're the one who's going to jail if you go ballistic at the company. And besides, since I'm not at work right now, there's no way I'm getting in front of you. You just wasted your time. Huh? Then where are you? I won't give you the details, but my husband and I are on our honeymoon. Oh no. I became uncomfortable working since my boss left. And I'm on disciplinary action. Yeah, I heard about the issue with the female employee. If they are dressing up, you were thinking that they were trying to flirt with you. Your boss used to do that too, right? When your boss was around, no one really speaked up about it. But now that he's gone, there's no one left to protect you. You really are jerks, aren't you? You're the president's daughter, right? Then you will support me, right? I don't even get paid for now. You deserve that. Why should I have to support you just because I'm the president's daughter? Well, excuse me. My husband is calling me. I want you to stay out of my life and never get involved with me again. If you contact me again, you'll be in bigger trouble. Oh no, Sophia. Please, just a little help. Don't abandon me. I immediately told my husband and father about Liam. Apparently, Liam had been sniffing around about me since then. On my husband's advice, I told the police that he was following me around. In addition to getting a restraining order, Liam was sued by several female colleagues. They even asked him for the compensation. He's now back in the countryside, helping his brother's family farm. I heard that he is shredding his pride by working like a slave every day. I have forgotten about my ex-husband, and I am living a happy life with my new husband. In a way, I am grateful to Liam for serving me with divorce papers at that time.